Hi everyone, today I'm going to share a soup blue song I wrote uh, as a songwriting activity. And here in Denver, it's March, so that means it's spring and winter kind of at the same time. So some days are really warm and then it will snow the next day. So it's definitely still soup weather. And in our soup, we can put different things in our songwriting. Um, and I'll show some visual supports after the song. Um, that you can use with your groups or individuals um, for this songwriting activity. So here is my soup song. So that's part A and part B you kind of write with your clients or your students or your group. So I have this visual which is available for patrons on patreon.com backslash navigating adulthood and IDD as well as a breakdown of this song. Um, of some different uh, visual options if your clients need ideas or want to point um, with gestural communication. Um, but you don't have to limit it to this if they have other ideas. I've had groups say chocolate. Um, so really anything can go in the soup. Um, and we can make it work. So I'll just pick a couple of these for the B section. So I'll put it all together. I'll sing part A again. And then I sing part B. Potatoes and carrots. So I went to the four chord too early that last time through, but um, that's how you can put in different responses, kind of sing, add a yeah, or other kind of vocalizations to the song. It's just a great activity to work on participation, communication, self-expression, and have a lot of fun discussing our favorite soup together, whether you're working with kids or adults. So how would you use the soup song? What would you put in your soup? Please let me know in the comments below. And I will catch you all in the next video. Thanks for watching.